so today we're creating embellished headphones. Ever since Dolce & Gabbana came out with those tiara headphones that Rihanna was wearing that was blew up the internet, I've been seeing embellished headphones more and more in stores. So this inspired me to create a pair of my own. This is going to be a fun DIY and you can kind of design it whichever way you want, but I'm just going to show you guys a guide of a way you can do it. The main thing you need are big pendants or brooches. These are brooches and I'm going to take off the backing. So if you can get pendants, they sell them at Joann's, Michael's, you can get them on Etsy. Just like a big circle pendant is the main thing that you need. Everything else you can use at your discretion. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is use metallic paint to paint your headphones. I put down a poster board on my surface so I don't ruin my desk. So if you want to lay something down before you paint it. You can also spray paint them, but I prefer paint because spray paint is just really messy. So the very first thing you want to do is tape off your headphones. I'm using painter's tape. You want to tape wherever you won't be painting, especially the air part, the part that goes over your ear. Once you've taped that off, you want to just start painting. I'm going to pull my headphones out of it so I get all this part too because when you open and close it, you don't want it to look a different color. So I'm going to make sure I paint that area as well. So because I have the poster board down, I can just put the paint right on my surface. Then you just start painting. Stop being going to need two or three coats. And you're going to have to give yourself time to let them dry before you add a second coat. So I went ahead and spray painted the rest of the headphones. I was going to continue painting them, but it was just taking too long and too many coats. So if you don't have access to a well-ventilated area, then I do recommend painting them and just being patient and doing each coat until it's covered. But if you do have a well-ventilated area, the best way is to spray paint them. It'll just be much quicker and you just do one thin coat and the second one and you should be all set. So once it's all dry, you're going to just take off the tape. Once you have the tape off, you're going to embellish your headphones. For my headphones, I'm using pendants on each of the ears. These were actually brooches and I just pulled off the pin part. So if you can't find a pendant with no backing on it, you can buy a brooch and just pull it off with pliers. It's really easy and simple. And then I'm going to use rhinestones. You can get this in any jewelry section of a craft store and then just black rhinestones and I'm going to use assorted pearls. So the first thing I want to glue on is the large pendant that I have. So right in the center of the headphone. I'm going to put a generous amount of glue. Now that I have that glued on, I'm going to add some rhinestones and pearls. Now that I have that glued on, I'm going to add rhinestones around the edge. I have a break in my headphones right here, so I'm just going to cut along. Instead of gluing it all the way around, I'm going to cut little pieces. So the next 
next step is to add rhinestones to the top of the headphones. I'm just going to measure them out first to see how many I need. And when you're done, you have some really fun embellished headphones. I love how these turned out. I can't wait to rock them on vacation. They're so cute and they look expensive. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.